Hi, this is Johnny Goodman, Johnny Goodman Golf Academy, and we're, this is the continuation of our off-season uh, practice, things that we can do to really make us better. Next spring, I'm in my uh, indoor studio here in Battlement Mesa, Colorado, and uh, we're going to talk to you about that second element, which is path. Uh, path is nothing more than what the line of the putter moves down the stroke. Uh, I see a lot of people uh, when I'm putting, they're, uh, obviously we want to keep our path on the right line, but I see a lot of people go out to in, see in to out, I see a loop around, uh, a lot of different things that are going on and we just want to get that path going down the line because it's going to help us make a lot more putts. Uh, there's four drills that we're going to do with this. Uh, the first one is uh, what I call a putting rod drill. And what I have is a, a rod here that I set in the center of my putter and just put right up here in my stirrup. Uh, so when I make this stroke, there's nothing that can move. If I move this thing away, uh, it's going to drop away from me. Uh, if I get uh, start getting really flippy with the thing, you can see the movement that's going on there. So, uh, and again, this has been a lot of the philosophy of the uh, anchoring, uh, putting, uh, the belly putters, uh, which is all going to be outlawed uh, because obviously they, they feel it makes a difference. But this is a great training tool. So again, put the rod in there, right in your sternum, and it uh, just really helps with that. Uh, what you could do is Set yourself up some four foot putts. Get yourself lined, put this rod in there. Get yourself all lined up properly. And just go ahead and bake the putt. So again, try to make 25 of those with that rod. You really help your rod. The second one we're gonna talk about again is uh, we've used this the last time as our mirror drill. And uh, what we're gonna do this time Again, on the mirror, we're going to set the ball here. Uh, we've got a nice line that goes towards our target. And we're going to put a couple tees in these two areas. Uh, and this will create a gate uh, for that putter to go through. So uh, just make it's called our mirror gate drill. So we're going to set the putter mirror down here again at about four feet. Get it lined up properly. Get us a couple tees, make a gate for ourselves. And again, see if we can make 25 putts. You got that lined up correctly. There we go. And again, there's a nice red line back here that lets you know that you're square to it. And we can just uh, get all set up and it's called our gate drill. So again, we'll try to make 25 like that. The uh, third drill is called our rail drill. And we talked about some uh, rails the last time. Uh, if you look at it from this angle, uh, we put it on here. I'd like to take your uh, putter and put it right against the rail and just sort of practicing keeping it that right on the rail. And after you practice that for a while, you can move away from the rail about a half inch and try to make your stroke without hitting the rail. But you know if you're moving around, you're going to be hitting the rail and it'll give you some feedback. So, and you can set this up to also make some putts. Uh, but again, that rail drill, I think you just work with that. And as I told you before, there's some other ways we can do some rails. You can use some alignment sticks uh, that you can set down here. And set inside here. Uh, and again, you can make it as close to the length of your putter as you want, but you can just sort of work on that and, and just. Okay, and our last drill is what we call the balls of steel drill. And I see so many people, when they get to putting a lot, they'll they get their path going real good but then they come to down here and they just sort of ease into it we want to keep the path going and consistent uh, this particular golf ball is five times the weight of a regular golf ball so it's a 
It's very heavy if you can put them about 18 inches from the hole. And just go ahead and make your regular stroke. And as long as you keep going through it, it'll go off and hit. But if you would be stopping or decelerating, that ball's not going to move anywhere. So called the balls of steel drill. So again, keep working on those uh, drills that we've given to you. If you can, can do that this winter, it's going to pay great dividends uh, this coming spring and really help with your putting. So these are things we'll get just do in the indoors in the off season. Uh, I know I spent a lot of off seasons doing this, uh, uh, practicing these different kinds of drills, uh, working on the short game, especially the putting really does pay some dividends. Get out there, those first three, four, five footers that you have on the golf course, you'll just sit back and have that feedback. Boy, I've made these hundreds of times at home. So again, keep up the good work, stay with it, and we'll talk next time about the impact uh, about a few more weeks. So stay with it and keep up the good work.